Okay, so actually, all of oh my god, all of is getting the rework. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, yeah, this is a very, very, very scary buff. Everything on this is so scary. Thanks, guys. This is like, obviously like he's getting huge base buffs. He's getting maximum attack speed. Um, what is this? Wait, I think he got it on the W now, right? And he will get life steal for free. I will play him probably. Just test him out. Maybe he's like too broken, but uh, I won't promise anything. Anato is getting. Uh, I think he's. It's. I don't. I don't really recall. Minimum range gets up. So this is actually a nerf. Mana gets down early. Pro X I'm picking up now pretty fun skill down. But access can only be thrown at the maximum of once every three seconds. This is such a weird nerf. It's actually bad. You, so you don't have cues all the time. So, so you have a three second cooldown on the axis. <clears throat> right? You have a three second cooldown. Um, it's now grants ghosting more consistently to general monsters. Okay. No power cue. Yeah, you don't. So it's honestly a nerf for his clear. Already. Also the damage gets nerfed. But okay, let's, uh, I think the W got really broken. Um, the name got changed. Okay. Um, the cooldown goes down later on, which is pretty fucking sick. Because the W spell is pretty broken, right? Uh, and then the attack speed goes down. It's an artic reset. The duration actually goes... Wait, the duration goes down. It's actually also a huge nerf. Okay, it's it's it, 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 auto reset is already like it's this is pretty good. Gains, uh. Oh yeah, this was this was the fucking broken shit. Twenty five percent missing health shield for two point five seconds. This this was the broken one, right? And you can. And it it like you you will have not that long of a cooldown, like six or five seconds later on. So, and, and if 25 passing missing health for 2.5, it's, it's just not unkillable. Because also you will have lifesteal. Kept at 30% of his current HP. Yeah, but that's whatever, right? This is what it, really whatever. <clears throat> you, you'll, you will not get the shit down anyways, I think. Because 25% missing health is already 1k shield. Which for 2.5 seconds no one deals 1k. So, yeah. Not only that's left, it's got into the passive. And uh, no increase healing based on missing health. Okay, that's also removed. So, yeah. The shield is pretty fucking big. Um, It's, I think, less, you do less damage, right? If I understand correctly. Uh, but you are extremely tanky. Like, you are disgusting tanky. So, and now that comes the ult. The duration is less. But, you don't lose the resistances. Um, you have less AD. Less damage. But, if you hit a basic attack, or E, you will have 2.5 seconds more. So from what I am seeing here, Olaf is just extremely fucking tanky. Unable to be stopped. But he doesn't do that much damage. Honestly. He he, he, got, he got damage nerfed like on, on almost every spell. And uh, I, I guess he didn't get nerfed on the E. Wait, what? Is it not infinitely? Infin infin in wait, extends the duration of Ragnarok to 2.5 seconds. Oh, so 
you have to hit every 2.5 seconds else it, it will expire. Okay, I understand. So, but if you are on a target, yeah, yeah, like you, you, you're like one of the best frontliners in the game, by the way, because first you're not taking CC, and second you are having a shield that's un making unkillable. You can zone all of us. Yeah, I guess so. His first case is 10 minutes, 15 seconds slower. Honestly, I will not play this shit. Honestly, I will not play him. This is like a full tank now. Without CC. If you, I, wanna play, I don't think this champ is that good. Maybe the base stats make him broken. Because he's getting a lot of AD for free. But the, the rest of it doesn't sound that good, guys. It sounds actually pretty fucking bad. For real. It actually so it sounds bad. Or do you get more attack speed? If you guys, if your clear is worse than before, like he was before, pretty good, but he didn't have the Carter's level of clear or something. I don't know. I'm just seeing so many damage nerfs and a lot of tank buffs. Maybe he will be pretty good at tanking, but it's not my playoffs. It's not my self play. So yeah, I won't. I will. I will. I will just watch people play it. And uh, if it's really that broke, maybe I'll pick it up, but probably not even. Um. So Tali. Oh, actually, Talia is pretty fucking interesting. I think Talia. Talia is interesting, but on. I think Talia will be the broken one. Uh, she gets her base full on buffed. Actually, not full on. Armor gets buffed. Uh, nerfed. Movement speed gets nerfed. But the uh, uh, passive got better. The Q got really broken. The Q is really, really broken. It's more mana. But I think you know, the field is pretty broken, right? Like, it's really, really strong now. The one rock damage is less. Okay. But AoE. Damage reduction from subsequent stone shards. Is more. 5 rock damage. Is less, a lot less, 200 damage. Damage reduction from subsequent stone against monsters also goes up. But I think you're full clear, like, you're, you, you, you do AoE, right? Wait, you do additional damage against monsters? What is this change? Why would you change the percentage up, but you do 30 bonus damage against monsters? So you have insane fucking early clear. But a little bit less scaling, I guess, against, like, in the clear. So, yeah, this is the broken one. That your Q just is AoE. It's just AoE. Uh, yeah, that's pretty broken. For a clear, at least. And if you are casting a Q on the worked ground, you will deal... Double the damage and double scaling and a slow and a bigger AOE rate, but this is so fucking strong. <laughs> so, so the Q can actually CC. This is, by the way, this is something that, that Talia lacked. Like a slow on a little bit more range because he is like not that much range. So this is really, really broken. Mana cost went from 0 to 20, though. Uh, minimum cooldown got less. Okay. Workground durations are 30. Uh, 
I will, I, 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 maybe I will flake that here. The problem is I don't want to learn new champions while I'm doing a climb burner, you know? It's like a bad thing to do. So probably I will, I, I don't, I will not learn here now. But she sounds very, very interesting. Uh, the W doesn't do damage anymore, but the W for the E is extremely broken now, right? Because I think it stuns. Like the cooldown goes down, the knockout radius goes up. Uh, I think that, is, is it 0 0.8? Yeah, I think so. It's, it, so it's a little bit faster, but it's just very little. It has no mana cost, holy shit. But the E got buffed extremely hard in combination with the W as well. Yeah. I mean, I, Talia will for sure be broken though. It spawns. Oh, actually, the E is pretty buffed as well because you have more range now. Because before it was just before you, like laid out. But it had, so it had no range. This is not useful in League of Legends. This way, like if you do it like this way, you will have a lot more range. And this is in this is a good thing in League. Yeah, this is this is this is by the way straight up a buff. It's just better. It's less burst. Maybe I don't know. I think it's a little bit less damage, maybe. Uh and yeah, and it stuns. If enemies dash through them. What? I thought only her W will stun people. But if you ever use a dash against Talia, you're actually stunned. So this is a poppy, but better. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, it's basically... But it's a better ground, isn't it? Isn't it just a better ground? Because ground makes you slowed and not able to use, use mobility. But this shit actually stuns you. So it is less damage though. What is the scaling duration of the dash? Isn't the dash duration and distance? Uh, if, for example, I think a LeBlanc dash is longer than Illusion. The dash is not interrupted. That's true. The dash still goes through. And then at the end, you're... You're stunned. Un so, I mean, can it still be used? I think you will be stunned at the end. Pretty sure. I am very, very sure. Against Salia, for example, if you knock an ult at Salia, she and she has her eat down. I am very sure you are. Uh, you're gonna be stunned at the end. Pretty sure. Range goes down a little bit the other up uh, later, which is pretty nice. Dash range is very long. And their speed is also pretty good. This is honestly, this is like a new buff, I think. People that can't play Talia already, like, now they will be able to play a little bit better because the ult was very hard to use. I had, I've, I've played like 100 Talia games and I was never able to use the ult very well. So this makes it easy. Damage from enemy champions of circuits now prevent Talia from casting ult. Oh. Okay, but wait, this is also huge. Damage no longer locks Talia off her wall. This is pretty good as well. Like I said, this is just new buffs. Okay, Ari got nerf really hard. This is a even harder nerf. This is a really disgusting nerf for her. I think she will not be played. I think 10 seconds on the ult and 2 seconds on the charm. I, I think it's already enough to kill her. Honestly. Uh, Braum is getting Oof. buffed very hardcore that game. 
And E is also getting buffed extremely hard. Holy shit. Isn't bad already one of the best champions into melee bruise uh, into melee champs that like like Leona and stuff. Holy shit. That sounds pretty good. Okay. Uh Hecarim's getting buffed back. Is it Is it already time again? No, but it's only 80 buffs. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. It's 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 not it's not the E and the Q base damage. So the yeah, other thing we'll see him. But he needs desperately. Am I seeing this right? Master Yi is getting nerfed again. Ah, uh, yeah. The champ was really dead. Okay. Then. Then it got nerfed. Or like changed. And then it was still extremely. Then, then it was absolutely dead. And now they're just. They're just. They're just punching him while he's dead. They're punching a dead body. Yeah, nice. Uh, Nidalee like base there, 30 less. Oh, Nidalee is getting nerfed. Let's fucking go. This is actually a good nerf, even. Uh, Astian and Corsfeed, thank you, by the way, for the subs. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Mango, for example, he, he, I don't think he will play it anymore. It's just a dead champ. Oh, no. Is it Pike buffs? We found mana up here. Why? Oh, but mana goes up a lot. Holy shit. Death row from below. Cooldowns goes down. Oh my god. Pagnola receives your cut gold upon successfully executed enemy shots, but this is old. Pi no longer receives additional your cut gold and What? Oh my god, that's that's that. The champion dies. The champion dies. It's a nerf. Guys, it's a nerf. Oh my he's not getting money. Guys, it's this is this is what makes Pike viable because he just he's he's able to generate money for himself. But it's honestly oh, just that it's it's not worth playing him anymore. There's just almost no situation where you should Pike pick Pike. Oh God bless this champ is so strong. She's getting nerfed a little bit. Passive gets nerfed as well a little bit. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good start, but I think she's still wrong. Renekton, buff, buff, buff. Hey, okay, it's the same buff. Cooldown, up, down late. Is it 19 or thir It's 13, right? 13. So, W gets nerfed early. Buffed late. Total physical damage gets buffed. 40. Physical damage when empowered. Gets buffed a lot. 60. Old damage per second. Also buffed. Pretty huge buff. I see as well. So. Yeah, we will see ranking. We will see ranking. For sure. What? Oh my god. We'll, okay, we we'll, 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 we'll first see Ringer, but I would never expect seeing Shivana. W damage against monsters decreased. Oh, they're nerfing Rengar. Oh, that sucks. I mean, he was pretty strong. Okay, let's see it. Oh my god, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We're introducing some quality of life and a batch of bug fixes to have Shivana's flame. Fan Shivana's flame. Okay. Damage tick rate. Wait. Guys, tick rate only means it's not it's not more damage, right? It's just better damage, right? It's the same damage but just in a better tick rate, so it's it will hit more likely. Actually, it, this will help your general clear a lot, because a lot of the times you you're kiting the camp and not hitting the W damage. 
by the way. It's a lot. Very, very much. It happens to me all the time. I, I, I sometimes I don't I'm not cutting the camp so I do the W damage. Also, yeah, the red, the, the golems will, will tick better. This is very nice, I like it. Also, the, yes, yeah, this is just a giant clear buff, honestly. The area of effect zone from Shimano's E now applies marks to enemies that enter the zone. <gasps> no! Oh, this is so huge! So, wait, this is so gigantic! So you can act. Wait, so, so if someone walks through the E, you will one shot her or him. What do the ma marks do? They do 8% max health damage per auto attack. So auto attack queuing someone that has a mark on them is 24% damage. Max health. Yes, it's 8. Wasn't it 8? Who walks into it? A lot of people walk into the E because it's only like 30 damage or so. like it's not a lot of damage. Like they like walk in one second and then go out. But it's so insane. Okay guys. And now the best thing that ever happened since years from Riot Games to me. Fixed a bug where Shivana's Q twin bite would not attack players player cre created targets twice. Uh, I'm, I'm not so talking about this one, I'm talking about this one. <laughs> Fix the bug with Shivana's Q, twin bite, second attack would not deal damage if the enemy was running away from here. This is the one. <laughs> yeah, if you're if you're a dragon, in dragon form and not in human form, in human form this never happens, uh, in dragon form and enemies are a little bit fast, like they just have to dash or have ghost on or even like sometimes just be like t level 2 boots already is enough. It will just not deal damage because they are not around her anymore. So, and, and this one was the reason, because th this, this is the reason why you always, as Shivana, you ult, you out the Q, and then you E. Because if you E and then out the Q, the chance of the Q not dealing damage was extremely high, because the E made you stand still. And then they are, they're like still in range for the Q, but the Q will, is not in range to deal damage anymore. So there was a bug. And now, I have to get used to it probably, but now you should just E out of the queue and then you will do the 24% max health damage on top so this is so insane buffs guys these like all all of these buffs are so guys gigantic fix work by shamanus that we were not correctly displaying when inside of modokai is old okay no one cares that one i want to so now oh my god i'm so i'm so sorry I'm so sorry for boss. Oh no, fresh buffs. I like that he was out of middle. Oh! Well, I was getting buffed. Now you will get played. Please tell me how the is just getting removed. I hate this shit. This is shit. Only attacks deal 20%. Oh, nice. So, this is a bad item to rush. Did it actually get buffed for later on? It gives you 75 armor ML. But this is actually a fucking buff. Am I dumb? It says 60 and not 80, right? But I dump. Right. I actually dump. This is you just buy the second item and it is, isn't it already buffed? I I can't actually. Oh. Okay, so they they're removing the ability to rush it first item and then instantly get a like full full turret. I like they're making it weaker. This is why it's like ten armor until level eleven. But do people actually rush Halbrika? I th I thought they play it like second item anyways. Yeah, well, um...
Okay, I think that's it. That's it, guys. With the patch notes. I like this patch. I think we will see a lot of Talia and a lot of Olaf. I will play a little bit of Shivana for me. I'm amazed that she, like Cardus isn't getting touched, for example. But yeah, Diana is also just untouched since a lot of since a lot of days. <laughs> 